Hi, it's Priscilla in Spring Hill at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I'm in Florida. It's the first day of September, um, Labor Day weekend, and I have a beautiful dish of colors, and I'm feeling like playing fast and loose and ribbon pouring some gorgeous stuff, which is not too hard since I have what I consider gorgeous stuff in my dollar store dustpan and my, where is it? and my scoops from Hobby Lobby I can dribble from get a nice set of four of those for like three dollars which is pretty cool it's a no rules play date <laughs> with myself and you today and we don't know what we're gonna get but we know we'll get something oh my god there's so many pretty cells oh there's beautiful lacy cells right there and I cannot keep them because they're on the back of my scoop and I'm pretty sure it's too far for you to see them and it's probably out of the shot anyway so I'm gonna put that aside and hope it stays somewhat and I am going to bring whoops slippery I don't usually put can paint on my canvas even when I cover the surface with white wet paint so everything will spread better I don't always decide that it's a good thing to put paint on the edges of the canvas because I don't wear gloves and I would like to feel the canvas and not have it slip. I got a big... Yep, I see you. Out you come. Whoa. Non-eventing thing. Yes. That just makes me want, really, to tip back the other way. Let's use my edge catcher. I'm watching paint slide everywhere. Now I'm going to watch it slide right back where it came from and cover some more. I'm going to squeeze it back over a little bit. Recenter it so it moves down, hopefully in a better wave and fewer drips. Manipulating paint. I don't know what we're going to get. We've been trying to play with the Mardi Gras beads instead of chain, which I do wish I'd bought some chain. So I'm going to try harder not to tip over my dust pan. And I have to look at this for a moment and decide what I want to do. And I've got gorgeous, gorgeous paint. So what I really want to do is use it. I'm going to let that run right out. Hoping that I can lead it. And it's a pretty green line. What do I, do with that? I have a smaller Princeton Catalyst spatula. Really good thing to have. Great for manipulating paint, great for cleaning out your paint mixing containers, um, great for making swipe marks, like so. Even though I think what I really want there is either gold or white. Let's take some white and see if what I expect to happen is going to happen, which is we're going to get some pretty cells. I know I got some fingerprints on the corner, not too worried about that. I don't mind a little paint on my tools as long as I know that it's a color or colors that will be either a neutral background or something that will be useful. I'm going to clean some scoops pretty soon. I've been not, not being responsible. <laughs> All right, so I see I have a lot of stuff that I would like to balance out, and I have beautiful paint, and that makes it hard for me to not want to use that beautiful paint. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go for it. Like I said, no rules. The only rule I really have is to keep the stuff out of my way, and I break it consistently. We're on our second go-round. I don't know what this is going to do. Don't mind one rivulet, that's really what I want to run up there. And I might be able to blow it into place if I wanted to. I'm gonna move that paint color right down. Put my edge catcher aside. Let that rivulet run in the direction I want it to go. Oh, there goes one. No, come back here. Well, it's a nice breeze, but it's not necessarily very helpful at the moment. Um, all right, let me think. Let me think. I 
like this. And I like that. And I'm going to stick my skewer right in there. And I'm going to pull it. Because we still have enough moisture in that white paint. I have a little bit of thick paint in places because of that original application. Time to clean the skewer off because making brown is not my plan. Although, because I use metallic, sometimes that's not a bad thing. I'm being a little bit different than usual because I just want to be able to. Oh, yeah? Okay. I didn't clean my skewer well enough. And I dribbled. And that's where my beads were. I'm going to take my medicine and deal with what I've got and whatever inspires me at the moment. And that's not really bothering me. We've kind of lost our bead marks. And I like to take my skewer and steal some paint and let it roll right over the edge whenever possible to continue the continuity of the painting. It doesn't always happen for me. Oh, that was too pretty to mess with, but it's still pretty, so I'm happy. I do want to try something, which is to put a little line of white right up there. Wipe my skewer off again. This is taking too long. <laughs> this is not a quick painting. Yeah, I like that. That kind of, I like that. <laughs> Enough said. I'd like these marks that were supposed to be bead marks to continue. I am having some paint dry, some issues, but I'm not too worried about it yet. I do have to do something down here now. The breeze has stopped, which is not necessarily a good thing. I think I want, you know what I really want? I want some of that paint out of there and it's gorgeous. Oh my God. Yes, and we got to keep some patterns. That is very cool. Take this paint on my spatula and just put it on the edge right now while I can. That's better. Hopefully this doesn't suck! <laughs> it has got so many nice pieces to it, I can really hope it doesn't suck. I don't want to lose all those patterns. I still haven't torched either. I am going to lose a lot of those patterns if I don't stop now. But I can put that one right back again. I never did something I really like to do, which is to leave the paint through the white paint. Because as long as the paint is wet and thick, it will create white marks like that. But we're losing our thick white paint to the heat quite rapidly, actually. So my opportunities are disappearing. So what do I want to do? I really want some, I want to do some swiping. I really thought it was going to be beads. I really want all of this paint right here. Get it cleaned right out used right up. I'm gonna one more scrape and into the bucket with you. If you leave it on it's not necessarily a good thing. It's good if the plastic doesn't allow the acrylic to adhere but quite a few of them will. So I see that that's a little on the dark side and I'm going to, where's my, yeah it is, 
That was so pretty too. And I just destroyed it. All right, so back and forth. I think back and forth. If I could keep that orange, that would probably be nice to pull. And I was actually contemplating pulling. I wasn't really contemplating on graying out all that purple, but I kind of was aware that as I went in there with my paint-covered spatula, unless I cleaned it off, that would probably be the case. I am going to steal some paint. Because, like I said, we don't have the white that I expected to have in the background anymore. So I'm going to make do, create some more texture, have a little fun, try not to stress too much. <laughs> yeah, right. And that's what I should be doing, and I should be in the pool. I am going to take, in this dry area right here, some white paint. And then I am going to take my, my diagonal edged Princeton Catalyst spatula that you can find on Cheap Joe's pretty readily, even and on sale, because they can be very pricey if you don't find them on sale. And I'm going to fill that in. And then I'm going to come back. What am I going to do? I haven't got any gold in here particularly. Let's do that. Ha! Let's get that going in the right direction. Let's do that a bunch of places. Sometimes it's hard because you see patterns that you think are just too pretty to do something to, but if you don't try, you never know, and then you're stuck with what you got. So I've been compelled to try. I don't have a lot of black. And just remember, as far as your edges go, at least with this kind of painting that I do, it's not going to match unless it's, you know, a dirty pour being dumped over something. I am a little focused, so I'm sorry if I'm not talking every second, but I'm probably talking more than I imagine, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Not minding that. I have got one more space that I'm kind of interested in doing something to. We've got five minutes left. I guess this is, I'm just going to call this taking my time. Put that down. See what happens. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So let's do some more of that. Yeah, it's a, it almost looks like I've torched already. The paint is drying so much. But I'm not unhappy with any of that. I think I'd like to tip it, but if I do, I'm going to lose most of it, so I'm not going to. But I am going to skewer the heck out of it. And roll that skewer with its paint on the side. Now that's working because I did fill in there, and that's working because I had paint on my skewer, and that's going to get wiped off, and hopefully, yeah, drying, wow, it's okay. I've dealt with it before, I'll deal with it again. 40 minutes is a long time to expect the paint to stay dry. So 
So the question is for me, if I want something else in this bottom corner, does that mean that I'm going to have to add some white paint? And I think the answer is clearly yes, because I can't move paint without paint being moist. And I've dropped most of my skewers, excuse me, most of my spatulas into the bucket. And the same with a lot of my scoops. But I don't think we need to worry too much right now. I'm just going to add some more paint and some more paint still. Now when I add paint and I'm trying to fill in an area, most generally I'm just pushing it up to the edge of the other paint and letting it sort of collapse down into that other paint. Don't ask me why that's you know important to me. I just sometimes I like to keep my patterns. This is not necessarily one of those times. <laughs> but I guess we'll find out soon enough. Alright, I have paint on my spatula and I'm putting paint on my finger because I have paint to use. And I want to cover the edges. I often have to go back and do something else. I want, oh wow, what do I want? I want to find out how completely outrageous I can become <laughs> with that purple. Maybe that gold. And maybe a few accidental drops. I have enough of that to come over the edge. And it blends quite nicely. And so because I have white, I have wet white paint underneath, I can drag that paint up. And as long as all that paint is wet, it will still heal itself. It's uh, an unknown quantity at this point because a lot of it is not as wet as I would like it to be anymore. This is all a little risky. But as long as I've got availability, if I've got paint on my spatula, it means I can make a mark. And I'm liking that corner. I am liking this whole thing actually at this point. I'm going to use some of the paint over there. And I don't mind if it mixes with the gold. Pull a little more of the gold there. Now, let's get some stuff out of the way while we have a chance. I'd say this was re not really what we were expecting, but that's okay. Because sometimes it's okay to just let accidental art be accidental. Right over the edge. There's a lot of colorful stuff going on there. I am prone to changing my mind. <laughs> That's why they call it artistic license. Makes me want to put some black in there. Makes me want to get rid of that hard edge right there. Ooh, I've got a little little trail of That's a bead pan I started this this whole thing with from Michaels. It's like 5 bucks. Right with a coupon, it'd be two fifty, and um, I like it because the edges are square, and that means for me that I can use my scoops and my shovel and and drag them right up to the edge and not worry about it. Yeah, I know I still haven't torched, but we got another minute left, and that's about it. I'm gonna put this back in your line of sight. Drag some more of that right over the edge. Let it fall down. Use my finger. Put some of it right on the bamboo skewer. Drip it in place so I don't have an excess like I would with the squeeze bottle. Pick up what's on my finger. Put it down wherever it looks like it would be best to go. I'm not unhappy with this. I would like to make this line that's kind of a hard line look a little more organic. And because there's paint on that, I can spread it around some. And because I'm missing paint on the edge, I can fill in with that. Even if it's not perfectly and exactly the color of the drips on either side of it, make it sort of 